Welcome to the tutorial, the display module. In this tutorial, you're going to learn all about the display. Once again, this tutorial is just for Animate Pro users and not for Animate users, as we will be discussing an element of the network view. So displays are interesting in that they house the information that allows you to see what you see in the camera view, the timeline view, and also in the playback views. Displays can be hooked up to other modules other than composites. You can also connect a drawing directly to a display as well as effects. You can have more than one display in a network and this allows you to visualize different parts of the scene without disabling or disconnecting. Displays are especially useful for cutout animation which allows you to see one puppet at a time. So if a display is connected to an individual character's template, you can view just that character by itself even though it exists in a greater network with other characters and backgrounds. Displays can also be useful for compositing as they allow you to see one effect at a time. So sometimes when you have several effects in a scene, one effect can be affected by another effect. So to be able to tweak an effect accurately without being affected by anything else or compounded by another effect, you can display it by itself. So that's another good use for a display module. So before we begin, I'm going to add two things to our scene. First, to talk about display, you need to have the display toolbar in your software's interface. So to do this, you can right click anywhere in this top gray region and select display. And as you can see, the display toolbar has appeared. You can also go to the windows menu at the top and select toolbars display and it'll do the exact same thing. So the second thing I wanted to add was a character to our scene so we can give it its own display. So let's go to the library and find our Karate Rabbit folder. And let's select the Karate Rabbit full front. Okay, and it looks like it's missing an arm and I think I know why that is. Um, it was probably Zed nudged back so far that it's actually behind the background. So we can fix this pretty quickly. Make sure you're in the camera view with the transform tool selected and then you can use the keyboard shortcut alt down arrow. And then to give this rabbit a display we can go back to the module library. Uh, we can go to favorites and take the display and drop it in the network view. And then our rabbit's all the way over here. bring him closer to the group and then what we can do is pull a wire from the rabbit and connect it to the display. And I'm going to actually re rename the display as well so that uh, it's a bit more obvious. Okay, so the display toolbar that we added at the top here is known as the global display. And that's because whatever item you select from this drop-down list, such as the Karate Rabbit, for example, all of the Karate Rabbit's information is displayed in the camera view and the timeline view and the playback view. So all of its information um, is globally displayed throughout the software. So if you scroll down, you'll see that, or I can collapse this, you'll see that there's the Karate Rabbit. It seems that um, groups are unaffected by this, which is the reason why the, the bird group got left over. Um, and then if we go back to the display we are at before, you'll see that everything has come back, all the information is in the timeline, as well as in the camera view. If your network view did not have any displays, so if we deleted this and we deleted this, your global display is automatically set to display all. And what that means is it's taking the information from the timeline um, and putting that information in the camera view and the other views. So let's just undo that. There are two types of display modes. There's basic and advanced. Right now we are currently in the basic mode. And in the basic mode, your composite always comes with a display already attached and all the views are connected to this display, hence the global display term. Um, and anything that is not connected therefore to the composite will not be seen. However, there is a second type of display called advanced. And you can bring up the advanced display by going to Animate Pro, Preferences, or in Window, that's Edit Preferences. 
going to the advanced tab and by checking advanced display and saying OK or hitting enter. So now you might notice that at the top left hand corner of your camera view and of the timeline view you also have a display toolbar and this allows you to see different um, displays in the different views so it's no longer globally displayed. So in this view I can show uh, just the Karate Rabbit. However, in the timeline, because it's the default display or the display all, you can still see all the information from the full scene because that's what I want to see here. So that can be really useful if you want to see two different camera perspectives, for example. So let me bring up another camera view. And so in this view, we're at the display all uh, mode, where here we're in the Karate Rabbit display mode. And so this advanced way gives you a lot more flexibility so that you can really compartmentalize and look at individual um, characters, effects, whatever you need to do. So that can be very, very handy. So that's it for the tutorial, the display module. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Creating a Multiplane.